right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Amanda Nunes, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Referee Herb Red Dean fight. will handle the action Red. in the octagon. Good. So here's Amanda Nunes back for more. She can mix it up with any Bantam weight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if Nunes follows up on those fight week words and puts them into action tonight. Great volume and a beautiful combo lands up top. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Watch the kickboxer is landing her leg kicks here early. The boxer comes. Her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Going to the sidekick. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that gilly is tight. Oh, she got out. How good is that? All right, so Nunez's pass attempt denied. Nice transition. 
Pennington getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. She's got her back now. Oh, right into Mount. Nice shot there by the champ. She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. This is a terrible position. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Raquel Pennington. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Arm triangle attempt by her here. Arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh, going for the takedown here. All right, so Anna Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Massive shot from the top. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. That was a slick transition. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Oh, arm triangle! Arm triangle! Arm triangle! Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. And maybe it's gonna do it. Oh. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Raquel Pennington. Lands a jab. She gets space and gets some separation. Oh, nice. Good jab there by the champion. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Pennington goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Her striking looks great. Great punch. Oh, nice job to get the takedown late in the round. Certainly not resting on her laurels here as we wind it down in this week. She's a grinder. She's going to take it on at the beginning of the round, middle and the end. You have to know that you will be constantly under attack this wrestle-heavy approach. Right. You're okay, don't worry. A little bit of body work, but that's all right. This round, I need you to protect yourself better. Stay long. Let's go back to your kickboxing game. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to ready. do the same thing ready. and expect a different result. Go. Second round underway. Our next round is underway. In the previous round, it looked like maybe tap or snap, tap or nap. I mean, it's amazing that she was able to withstand that attempt. I thought it was over. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Pennington. Nice level change. Well, the ground and pound. 
Brown has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nunes. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. And now she's in both. She is so dominant from the top position. So the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Oh, Pennington's going for a choke. Oh, looks like she's got the arm triangle choke. A lot of pressure on this choke, John. Nicely done. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Nunez is in half guard. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Oh, Pennington's back to the side control now. She's stepping over the mount here. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. What a submission attempt by this grappler. Oh, she's got it locked in. That looks painful. She has so many ways to finish. It's over. She's got the submission. Yeah. And there's the top. Oh, my goodness. No judges needed this time around. Wow, she got that respect. And then she capitalized on it. Holy smokes. What an atmosphere inside this arena, standing room only, and man, did they get a treat as she gets a huge win, and by submission, no less. What a moment. She locked it in, John. She locked in that submission and got her opponent to tap. It was an amazing performance by this young lady, and you can see her rounding into her final form, the fighter that we've expected her to be for a really long time. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. The Bantamweight Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do.